It was a total demolition at the Yuan Crive Stadium yesterday when Ajax Amsterdam dropped Scotty Giants Rangers by four goals to nil. Ghanaian midfielder Kudus Mohamed was one of the scorers. It was Mohamed's first start for Ajax this season. He netted the third goal for Ajax Amsterdam and he scored in a spectacular fashion. He took the ball in the midfield, held onto the ball and traversed his way into the 18 box of Rangers before blasting the ball to the left side of the goalkeeper. His amazing performance in the game saw him adjust the best player after the game. However, in the game against Rangers, Kudus Mohamed was deployed in an unfamiliar role. The boy from Nima is known to be a midfielder, a versatile one who can play as a central midfielder, a defensive midfielder and as an attacking midfielder. He is also imposing when played on the right wing. But in their first game in the UEFA Champions League against Rangers, he was deployed as a false nine. Brian Brobe, who usually starts as the arrowhead or the centre forward, was dropped with Kudus Mohamed starting in his position and the Ghanaian midfielder didn't show any sign of uncomfortability. In fact, he was a constant threat to the Rangers defence. He played a part in Ajax's build-up to the second goal when he controlled a loose ball and set up Steven Beguis, who went ahead to score with a deflected shot. Despite playing an advanced role, he was also allowed to drop deep to pick ball from midfielders and defenders and initiate the attack. And playing accordingly to this plan, he was able to get his first Champions League goal. He dropped very deep to pick a ball from Kelvin Bassey and he showed good strength on the ball and shielded Ajax right back James Tavernier. And as he kept shielding, he made his way into Rangers 18-yard box and from an almost impossible angle, he was still able to find the net. He made several other attacking contributions before being subbed off in the 89th minute where he was replaced by Brian Broby. Prior to the start of the season, Ajax boss Alfred Schilder explained that he saw Mohamed Kudus more as a centre forward and we're all waiting to see how good he will be in the position. According to his statistics, he has played 27 times as a centre forward in his career and he has scored 7 goals and registered 2 assists, which isn't a bad statistics at all. And in the game against Rangers yesterday, he gave another good account of himself when he was again played in the advanced role. And if Otuado watched the game yesterday, he has probably realized other attacking options he has, considering the fact that Kudus Mohamed can now improvise as a force nine. Now, Ghanaian winger Joseph Pinto, who plies his trade in Belgium for Belgian giant Genk, has broken a silence after being left out of the 29 man squad of Otuado. The former Tema youth attacker is one of the informed Ghanaian players abroad. He currently has three goals to his name and assisted once in his seven appearances for Genk this season. Apart from his appearance for Genk this season against Club Brugge, where he came on as a substitute and finished the game with a low rating of 5.6, the subsequent ratings have shown that he's performing really well at the club. His highest match rating was 8.5. It was recorded after the game against Upen, where he scored two goals in a 4-2 victory. Over the last 12 months, he has an average score rating of 6.85, which clearly shows he's on a good form. But for some reasons, best known to Otuado and his technical team, the 24-year-old is one of the major absentees in a 29-man squad which was announced recently. Actually, he isn't the only surprise absentee in the recent squad announcement. Ghanaian forward Bernard Tekpite, who plies his trade in Bulgaria for Bulgarian giant Ludo Gorez Razgad, was also not in the 29-man squad. He posted a picture of himself on his Twitter page, showing an angry and a moody face. He posted a picture without a caption, however posting this picture in the midst of criticisms against the GFA and Otuado for not including him in the 29-man squad clearly shows the player is also not happy with what has happened. According to renowned sports journalist Oreku Ampofo, the 29-man squad which was recently announced won't be very different from the final squad which will make it to Qatar to represent Ghana at the 2022 World Cup. And if this is anything to go by then Bernard Tepite and Yadom. Joseph Pinto and Jeffrey Schlopp, who are all some of the surprise absentees in the recent squad announcement, stand at risk of missing out a place in the final squad to represent Ghana at the World Cup. In light of this, Ghanaians have hit out to the squad selection criteria and have questioned the inclusion of some players like Daniel Baniefi, Fatawi Saako, Felix Afnajan and Benjamin Tete, who is currently nursing an injury. Ghanaians believe if the squad selection criteria was based on merit, then the informed gang winger Joseph Pinto should have been part of the team ahead of some players like Fatawi Sahaku and House of Fox Daniel Efriye Bane. On this note, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Until we meet in our next video, it's bye for now.